Hi, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath, and today I'm going to talk about how stress affects your hormone levels. What I mean hormones, I mean the sex hormones and thyroid hormones. Stress comes in many different disguises. A lot of people think of stress as being like emotional stress from relationships, work, but stress comes in many different facets. Let's have a look at some of the stresses that can lead to adrenal fatigue, which then can affect your sex hormones and thyroid. There can be many different causes of stress. You can have psychological stress, which is relationships, work stress, traumatic stress, like being in an accident or involved in a traumatic event, electromagnetic stress, which comes from uh, iPhones, iPads, smartphones. Sleeping with the phone in your bedroom or TVs can all create electromagnetic stress, and some people are more sensitive than others. Infections like gum infections, uh, bacterial infections of the stomach, allergies like hay fever, dysbiosis, which is an imbalance with the good and bad bacteria in the gut, and xenobiotics from the environment can all cause stress. And this stress leads to the hypothalamus and the pituitary down-regulating thyroid hormone. Often initially the adrenal function gets upregulated and this also causes an inhibition of T4 getting converted to T3. And what happens is more reverse T3 is created. Often on a standard blood test from the doctor, they're only checking TSH, which is this marker here. And TSH is often normal when the body is under stress, but T3 levels, which is your active thyroid hormone, are low. This can lead to many low thyroid symptoms Yet when you go to the doctor, you're told your thyroid is normal. Stress also affects the sex hormones. From cholesterol, the body makes pregnenolone, the master hormone. And pregnenolone can either be converted into DHEA and then into the sex hormones testosterone and the three different types of estrogen. Or it can go down this pathway and make the other sex hormone progesterone. Then from progesterone, the body will go down and make cortisol. And cortisol is the hormone the body tries to keep in balance, not too high, not too low. When the body's under stress, cortisol production is upregulated. This leads to lowering of progesterone levels. And if the stress goes on for a long period of time, it will lead to low DHEA, and then eventually low testosterone, and possibly low estrogen. This can, you can still have the symptoms of estrogen dominance because progesterone levels are so low. So the answer to balancing the sex hormones is to support the adrenal function. So as you can see, addressing hormone imbalance can be quite complex. But with the, with the right treatment plan, addressing diet, lifestyle, and nutritional and herbal supplementation, you can get your hormones back into a balance and start feeling great again. At Planet Naturopath, we do testing for adrenal, thyroid, and sex hormones, plus a lot of other specialized functional pathology tests. And most of these are available throughout the world. Contact me at michael at planetnaturopath for more information. Or just go to the website. Thanks.